hello welcome to juju b designs in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to mock your designs up with pixel lab for instance you're done with the design and you want to make it a little bit more presentable and more finer than the usual it's very easy i'm going to show you how to do that with pixel lab kindly like subscribe and hit the notification button as we start this video okay so let me just show you a template of what I have done. Um, let me just go to my project. Let's see, I'm done with this design. I'm done with this design now. And now I want to mock it up to make it more finer. Very easy. Next thing, the only thing I do is just like I just uh, click on save. Save it as ultra. Save my design. So my design is saved. So I just click on the new template button and I delete this. I click on image from gallery. Then it takes me to my images. So I just pick an image, the image I just finished designing with my pixel lab. So I've imported my design. This is the design. You go to your color, you change your background. Okay, let me just change something rhyming with this. Let me just change it to the right. Let's see. Uh, you just choose a suitable color. Oh, let me just pick the color for the sake of the class. Let me not waste. Uh huh. So. I just enlarge the video a little bit. Use my person. Relative position to put it at the right position. And I click on image from gallery. And I put my shadow. The link of the shadow is, is going to be in the description below. Kindly like, subscribe, and hit the notification button if you are enjoying this video. So this is the shadow. So I'm just going to enlarge it to rhyme with the with the design I am making. If you understand, let's rhyme together. No, oh, it's a little bit too big. Um, I think this is okay. I use my relative position to put it at the right position. Then I move it the layer. Of, I open my layer. I move it to the back so you can use your normal position to adjust it to your desired point and now see what have made the curve so you save it to your gallery save as ultra mm. And we've done that so let me show you another way of mocking up your file let me hide this you can just re let me reduce it a little bit you click on sticker yeah. you change the color to black because the shadow is black Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. So you just go to the rotate. Let me just I rotate it to your desired position. Like I think let me reduce this, the design a little bit. I think this is enough. And I move my shadow to the back. 
so this is another way of mocking up your file I can copy this I go to my crop and I flip it over okay. do this I can do this and reduce the opacity So you just make it hitting like something like this to make it look like a reflection and you move it behind the shadow so you can just make it to the desired position to make it more This is another way of mocking your files up that you save to your gallery. You save as ultra. So I've showed you guys three ways now. Let me show you another last way of mocking up your file again. Let me hide all this. I'll straighten this up to get your um, to get it to be, to be more precise. You can go to rotate. Um, yeah. I think it's straight. Increase it. Go to your image. So this is another shadow you could use design the link is in the description below make it fit your design that you're doing you can use the relative position to get the exact point of what you want to do you move to the back you can copy it So this is another way again of mocking up your fur. It's showing at the edges so you just have to reduce it a little bit. Another way of mocking up your file. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. That is the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on making knowing how to mock up your files with Pixel Lab. Thank you. Have a nice day.